What's going on guys? This is Chandler Smith and today I am here to bring you on a tour of my first duplex that I ever purchased seven years ago. We're also gonna walk through all the numbers, what they were then, what they are now, and what an incredible experience it's been since I purchased this first duplex. And we're gonna share some of the struggles of this duplex we've run into along the way. So with all of that being said, let's jump into it. All right, guys, if you're new to the channel, my name's Chandler and I've been investing in real estate for the last nine years. I currently own 180 units of residential real estate. I also own two storage unit complexes and a couple other commercial buildings. And today we're gonna take you on an adventure or I guess a blast of the past of my first ever multifamily property. We're gonna talk about the things I did right, the things I did wrong, how much money I've made on this property, regardless of both, and how the property's functioning now. The other thing that's gonna be interesting is I'm gonna be walking the whole property inside and out and kind of checking up on my management company, maybe putting together a to-do list because I wanted to walk every single property I own this year and just kind of check in on things. And I figured why not take you with me so that we can check up on the numbers and the state of the property. So with all that, let's jump into it. This property is one of the few properties I own where the tenant actually takes care of all the lawn care, all of that exterior maintenance stuff. And so when it comes to the flowers, the ropes on the trees, a lot of the trampoline in the backyard and a lot of the stuff that's going on, um, this property is unique compared to my other multifamily stuff because we manage it and we try to keep it very clean and in a certain way that I guess is conducive for multiple tenants on the property. Now, I'm not saying this isn't clean, I'm just saying they are doing it their way Way and have a lot of their stuff on the property. And this is one of the properties that we allow that. And overall, they've done a fantastic job at just maintaining it, taking care of it, and making it their home. Now, this isn't an excuse. I'm gonna try and be very transparent in you know, what things look like as a landlord. And when you don't have tenants going in and out, you get a little more lazy at keeping up some of the general maintenance. Now, anytime people have a maintenance request, we are Johnny on the spot on it. But one example of this is this paint is something that we probably should have redone already. But when you have a tenant here, that's here for so long, they don't have an issue with it. A lot of times some maintenance stuff like that gets overlooked. And so the first thing I'm gonna mark down that we need to do is make sure that we get the paint redone on this because at the end of the day, that's not gonna cause the tenant issues so much as me issues down the road because the property just isn't being maintained properly. So I need to make sure that we get this property painted um, probably, I mean, sooner rather than later, but at the very latest in the upcoming spring. All right, well, we're just gonna do a quick walkthrough of the property. One thing for me that is really interesting about this property is one of the first things we did is sand and refinish the hardwood floors. And it's crazy to see, I mean, they're still in really great shape, but um, to see what seven years of wear and tear on floors does, a lot of times you remember it right as you left off, but um, that was the first thing I noticed walking in. So they'll probably need to be refinished sooner rather than later. Um, the kitchen, the tile, everything in here looks about how it was when we got it. They've kept it in fantastic shape and uh, looks awesome. We're gonna go upstairs really quick. So one of the things that as a new investor was very intimidating is when we walked into this property up here, there were just flies everywhere. And I wasn't sure if there was like something in the floor voids or in the attic or whatever it was. And it was very overwhelming of like, oh, is this gonna be a problem? And when you're first starting, everything seems bigger than it is. Like it was a very quick fix to get rid of the flies and a couple of other little things. But when you're looking at spending what at that time was a very large amount of money for a down payment for this property. It was super overwhelming. All right, guys, I'm gonna run you through the numbers on this property currently. So right now it's bringing in 1,400 a month, but I'm setting aside 24% for all of my expenses. That includes my management fee of 6%, that includes um, my maintenance, my capital expenditures, and 6% for vacancy, even though we've had very little of any of these expenses other than the management expense. Obviously, we've had fixes on the building here and there um, and general maintenance stuff, but it's not been anywhere near to those expenses. I plan for the worst, and then a lot of times it's a lot better than that, but we still set it aside for that rainy day funder when the issues do come. But to run some quick math on this, if you go 1,400 in rents that are coming in, and we're gonna multiply that by 0.76, that 
takes the 24% out for expenses, which is actually a pretty hefty amount. And that means that this is what we're left with. Now we're gonna take out our mortgage of 560, which you can see right here. That's including taxes and insurance and our principal pay down and interest on the mortgage. So when you do that, that leaves you with 504. You multiply that by 12, that's your cash flow. We're cash flowing $6,048 every single year on this property. Now again, that's not including our principal pay down, that's not including tax benefits, that's not including appreciation on this property. And the property's gone up in value by well over $100,000. I could probably sell it for close to $220,000 to $250,000, maybe even more, but right now interest rates have obviously gone up. So if you take that 6,048 and you divide it by your 24,000, which was your down payment, that means that you're getting a 25% in cash flow alone on this property every year, even though we've left rents way lower than we should have, which is just an awesome return. So this property has been fantastic and it makes me happy because we've got awesome tenants that are happy. We've got a great investment where we're able to win, they've got housing, and it's just a win all the way around. Seven years hasn't uh, done a whole lot of wear and tear other than the fact that the floors are just getting walked on. <laughs> So we had talked to the tenant and uh, this is actually where the duplex connects for the downstairs unit. Um, but they had said that some of the duct maybe was looking a little dirtier than they wanted it. And so we're gonna check the filter. We we're gonna come down here anyways. Um, but now we can check and see how the maintenance has been on things. Honestly, the filter looks super clean. It's in the right place too. So that's always good. <laughs> Past that, I don't know why they would still be seeing some dust coming out of their ducts. So I'm gonna call the management company and have them check that out. I can check the filter though. Filter looks good. <laughs> cool, so overall, I feel like the property is in pretty good shape, all things considered. Other than getting the outside painted, the property really has been maintained really well and I'm really happy with it. We didn't get to go see the unit downstairs. It's very simple, just tile floors, one bathroom and a small kitchen. Um, and it's so interesting because when I first rented this place, I had no idea what I was doing. And so I put in a tenant that was really bad and I selected the tenant. Um, I was just trying to figure out if I should use a management company or not, put them in there. They paid the first month's rent and then they never paid again. So we had to go through the eviction process. Right when we started the eviction process, they just disappeared. So we didn't actually have to pay or go through the whole process. They just kind of dipped out, but I learned very quickly that uh, you gotta do things right <laughs> and find good tenants or you end up in trouble. So this is actually the back side of the property. This is the other entrance where this gives you downstairs access and upstairs, and then they both have their own doors to keep the two units separate. Right when I was getting started, I'm having a lot of flashbacks of when that downstairs tenant wasn't paying and it was like my first property and I was very stressed and I was stopping in to see what was going on. Um, and it's crazy how much things have evolved from that point to now. This is also a really good experience for me because it's very easy to have it just turn into like a number on paper and um, going through every one of the properties this year is gonna be awesome to just kind of get to meet the tenants, get a bead on how the management company is doing with maintenance and with the tenants that we're selecting. But this tenant's been here a long time upstairs and she's absolutely awesome. And so it was really cool to see her again and be able to walk through the unit and see that it really is in great shape. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you remember to smash like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell. I'm still purchasing properties today and still looking for incredible deals just like this. And if you wanna jump into buying your first duplex or fourplex or investment property. I've included a link below where you can stack my real estate investing course. If you like the way I broke things down in that course, I show you how I go through all of the due diligence, how I find a property, how I lock down a deal, how I maintain it through the years and get returns like this. So if you wanna go pick that up, you can get $50 off using the link below. So thanks so much, have a great day.